natin yung mean and standard deviation given the sampling distribution. Now, ang formula na gagamitin natin para makuha natin yung uh, sample mean and sample standard deviation mula sa population will be mu of x is equal to mu. And for the standard deviation of your sampling distribu distribution, it will be uh, population sigma all over the square root of n or yung sample size. Now, ito yung example natin kung paano natin gagamitin yung uh, pagkuha ng uh, mean at ng standard deviation ng inyong sample given na normal yung inyong population. So, given the dis distribution of young women is at 64.5 and 2.5 wherein yung 64.5 yung inyong population mean at yung 2.5 yung inyong population sigma or standard deviation. What will be the mean and the standard deviation if you randomly selected 10 women as your sample? So alam natin na yung population daw ay may average height na 64.5 para sa mga young women. Tapos yung standard deviation ng population is 2.5. Now imagine nag, uh, kumuha kayo ng sample. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 na young women dito sa pool ng mga individuals nyo at hahanapin nyo yung uh, mean o yung average nitong sampung mga uh, babae na to at saka yung standard deviation ng height nila yung inyong sampling mu o yung sampling mean nyo e eh parehas lang ng population mean kasi yun yung nag estimate ng inyong o yung population mean nyo ang isa sa mga estimator ng inyong sample mean. So, yung mu of x bar, or your sample mean nyo, is simply 64.5. Ang magkakaiba lang is yung standard deviation kasi sa standard deviation ng inyong sampling distribution, gagamitin natin yung formula na sigma or population standard deviation all over the square root of n. So, kung ang 2.5 ang ating population standard deviation at meron tayong sampung mga piniling uh, babae para sa kanilang height, 2.5 all over the square root of 10 will give us a new uh, standard deviation for this 10 sample, which is 0.79 inch. So, sa sampung uh, mga napili natin na randomly selected young women, tas kinuha natin yung height nila, yung estimated sample mean nyo will be 64.5, at yung standard deviation ng sampung to will be 0.79 inch. Now, ngayon naman, let's say parehas pa rin na distribution yung gagamitin natin. Um, normally distributed yung height ng mga young women with 64.5 inches for its mean and 2.5 inches for its standard deviation. What will be your new sample mean and standard deviation for the sample size of 100? Now, let's say ito yung sampo, tapos kumuha pa tayo ng uh, uh, isandaan. So, sabihin na natin isandaan tong mga... Uh, height ng mga babae na nakuha natin, ano ang mangyayari sa sampling, sample mean nyo at sa sample standard deviation kapag lumaki yung sample size nyo. So, ito yung sa sam sample size na sampu. Ang ating uh, mean dito ay 64.5 at ang ating standard deviation for this sample size of 10 is 0.79. Now, if you're finding the mean of your sample size for 100, parehas pa rin siya kahit 10 or 100 yung inyong sample size. Kasi yun yung formula na ginagamit natin base dun sa central limit theorem na ang mu or sample mean is the same as the population mean. So, yung mu of x nyo for the given sample size of 100 will still be 64.5 pero yung inyong standard deviation will now be 2.5 all over squared of 100 which is 0.25. So notice the difference on the variability kapag ka ang sample size nyo ay maliit at ang sample size nyo ay malaki. So the smaller your sample size, the bigger the standard deviation will be. Pero kapag ka mas, mali, mas malaki na yung sample size nyo, your standard deviation will become smaller because the variability is getting smaller as well. Now, to summarize, drawing an SRS or simple random sample from a population with a normal distribution, the mu of x is estimated as the mu, and for the standard deviation ng inyong sample, it will be sigma or population standard deviation all over the square root of n. Now, with the same problem set, let's say given the height of the young women that is normally distributed with this 
normal distribution, 64.5 for its mean and 2.5 for its standard deviation, what is the probability that the mean height of 10 randomly selected women is greater than 66.5 inches? So, ginagamit uli natin yung ating uh, normal distribution, 64.5 tsaka 2.5. Tapos, pumili uli daw tayo ng 10 babae. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. So, ito yung ating uh, randomly selected na sampung babae at kinuha natin yung uh, height nila. So, ano daw ang probability na itong sa, sa, sa sampung babae na pinili ko, yung uh, height nila will be greater than 66.5 inches. Ano daw ang probability na mas matangkad pa sila sa 66.5 inches? So, ang first step nyo is to find your sample mean at saka yung sample standard deviation base dun sa formula. So, for the sample size of 10, mu of x will still be 64.5 with a standard deviation of 0.79. Now, your second step nyo, since probability na ng isang normal, normally distributed sample yung ginagamit natin or population, gagamitin na natin yung z or yung formula for z which is x minus mu all over sigma. So, dito, ang gagamitin natin is yung mu and sigma nung ating sample size na 10 or yung sa sampling distribution. So, yung z natin will be 2.53. Base dito sa formula na ginamit natin. At dun sa step number 3, ito na yung gagamitan natin ng calculator. So, to illustrate yung z-score na 2.53, ito yung normal distribution nyo where mu is at 0 kasi standard dice na siya using the z-score. At ito naman yung z-score nyo na 2.53 at kailangan natin mahanap yung area ng shaded region using the table of values. So you can use your uh, Z table or your calculator para ma-compute nyo yung area under the curve. So since normal distribution to, so the probability of X greater than 66.5 na naging probability of Z greater than 2.53 because ginawa na natin siya in standard form using the Z formula will give us 0 0.0057. So once again, itong value na to, makukuha nyo to sa table of values ng Z or using your calculator. Now, the probability that the 10 randomly selected women is taller than 66.5 inches is 0.57%. So, it's not even 1%. So, yan yung paggamit ng uh, mean and standard deviation ng inyong sampling distribution base sa giving normally distributed population or mean and standard deviation.